Hey, what's going on guys? It's Onion Rings. I'm going to do this week's vendor race set video for The Division, uh, the week of January 26, 2018. Starting off with Dante's Run over here on the left side of the map. We have Sticky Bomb Explosion Radius mods, if anybody wants to run those. There's these you can buy. I myself prefer damage, but uh, if you want, you know, radius, there you go. And if anybody wants pulse mods, here you go. I mean, I don't see why anybody would want pulse duration when you could go with, like, pulse crit chance or crit damage. And there is these. I, I, I wasn't going to really mention these, but I guess I will give them a quick shout-out in case anybody wants more burn resistance. I, I don't know. I mean, these purple mods roll really weird. Like, you can find ones. I have some in my reclaimer gear that i use when i'm farming resistance purples with freaking damage to elites on them those are good mods to pick up but these ones are real burn resist i don't know if anybody's gonna want those over at camp clinton we have an mp5 blueprint a firearm vest blueprint a pretty good blueprint for a muzzle if you want some extra headshot damage on your large caliber weapons like uh for me you know i throw these on my mdr and snipers this is this. You can buy that and maybe throw some of your own mods together. And that's it at this vendor for now. There's probably another blueprint here. Because usually there's um, either two weapons or two armors. And then there's usually two like mods or something. So there's probably another thing here that I can't see because I already bought it. So I'm going to put a little disclaimer here for you guys. Check both of the blueprints vendors. The one here at Camp Clinton and at the base of operations. I will be pointing out the base of operations one, of course, but check it because I never know if I've already bought an item and it won't show up if I've already bought it. So make sure you guys check it yourselves just to make sure I don't miss anything good. Over at the Camp Clinton Special Equipment Vendor, we have some heavy magazine springs here for Lone Star builds. Heavy magazine springs are best for Lone Star builds because the extra crit chance and rate of fire really helps out. When you're running Lone Star with light machine guns, you don't want to run extended mags because you're not going to get the buff as often as if you were to have a smaller amount of mag. So definitely run heavy magazine springs instead of extended mags. These are pretty good. A ideal god roll heavy magazine spring would be crit chance, crit damage, and rate of fire. But a little bit of mag size isn't going to hurt you that much. If you're running an MG5 that has 50 bullets, you're going to go up to 61 bullets. Not a big deal. And the Alejandro, I think, is 50 as well, so it'll go up to 61 if you're using Alejandro's. Not a big deal. That's fine. You don't have to uh, sacrifice every little piece of magazine size. But the crit chance and rate of fire is worth it. These are some of the highest rate of fires that I've seen on these heavy magazine springs. I don't even think mine go up to 11%, so that's really good. And then down here, we have a VX1 scope. So if you are looking for VX1 scopes, these are the best. Uh, scopes for snipers and MDRs in my opinion you see over on the right side I have an urban MDR and a model 700 that I use with my sentry call build perfect scopes for that extra headshot damage stability and range good scopes so if you're looking for one go ahead and grab it over at the cavern we have some pulse critical hit damage performance mods I myself prefer critical hit chance just because I'm not using an SMG right now if you're not running an SMG in my opinion critical hit chance is better but if you're already running an SMG and your critical hit chance is already high enough maybe you want a little extra damage these would be pretty good at the base of operations advanced weaponry vendor we have a pretty decent Omega rifle suppressor this will also fit good on as I said before with the VX1 scopes this will also fit good on uh, urban MDR you know snipers you know whatever that you want a lot of headshot damage on you can even rock it on assault rifles you know whatever large caliber muzzle mod can't put it on small guns but anything large caliber get yourself a little extra headshot crit and range pretty decent mod and that's if you don't want to be uh rolling your own because we did have that suppressor blueprint from camp clinton so if you want to roll your own you can but if you don't want to waste weapon parts and tools and all that these are available at the base of operations down in the terminal the blueprints vendor is a converted USC blueprint classic M60 blueprint holster blueprint stamina gloves blueprint a holographic sight blueprint and a tyrant suppressor blueprint at the special equipment vendor in the base of operations in the terminal 
We have an okay stamina mod with some skill haste. Definitely not the greatest stamina mod ever, but if you don't have anything better, you can pick it up. A turret duration mod that I do not recommend because you should do turret damage, but if you prefer duration. A high velocity magazine that is actually pretty decent for, again, Lone Star builds. It does not have rate of fire on it, which is pretty unfortunate. But if you don't care about extra rate of fire, then this is the next best magazine you would want to get for your Lone Star build. And it actually rolled pretty high. Uh, crit chance is great, crit damage is great. And, you know, a little bit of mag size, again, is not going to really kill the build as long as you're not using extended mags. And a mega rifle suppressor here. Uh, not as good as the one upstairs in my opinion, but if you prefer accuracy and crit chance over optimal range and crit damage, which was on the other one, then you could pick it up. A pretty decent small grip, not the greatest, can be higher. You can get angled red grips with 19% crit damage on them, but this one's pretty good if you don't have anything better. At the East 53rd Street checkpoint, we have some Seeker Mine damage performance mods if you're going for a Seeker Mine build. Another Omega Rifle Suppressor. The only difference between this one and the one previously mentioned is stability instead of range. So if that little bit of stability matters to you, then you can grab this one instead of the range one. At the East 46th Street checkpoint, we have a God Roll Stamina mod of 267 with some skill power. At one of these checkpoints last week, there was a god roll stamina mod with exotic damage resilience that I picked up, but I think I'll probably end up picking some of these up as well, because skill power, in my opinion, is more useful than exotic damage resilience. Um, exotic damage resilience is good if you're a PvPer, but I PvE more than anything, and that extra skill power would help make my heals and stuff do more damage, so if you guys want to grab them, go ahead. And I'll go ahead and mention this mag real quick, but I would not recommend buying it. I'm going to mention not to buy it. And the reason being is you don't want reload speed. If you're using Lone Star, reload speed is exactly what you do not want because you will be holstering your weapons to reload. At East 42nd Street, we have 256 stamina mods with 3% skill haste. Not as good as the previously mentioned God Roll ones. And to clarify, those God Roll ones I mentioned in the previous clip, the skill power was not God Rolled. I believe skill power can go up to like 3,300 something on mods. But I meant God Roll part was the 267. But these are definitely not as good. However, if you build prefers skill haste over extra skill power, like maybe you're running a Reclaimer build and you're putting stamina mods in to keep you from being too squishy, that extra skill haste will help you get your support station back quicker. Whereas extra skill power won't really help because all six pieces of your gear are probably already rolled to electronic. At East 40th Street, we have a 264 Electronics mod. I wouldn't really recommend this one unless you are in desperate need of decent electronic mods. Crafting your own would be a better option or finding one dropped on the ground, but this one's not terrible. The ability resource gain is what's got me thrown off. Signature ability resource gain isn't the worst thing ever, but it's not the greatest thing ever either. Having some of these placed in your mods obviously is going to help you get your signature ability back. And that could help depending on what build you're running. At East 31st Street checkpoint, we have another Omega Rifle Suppressor. This time with crit chance instead of crit damage. And in my opinion, that is better. Crit chance is always better than crit damage, especially on an assault rifle or sniper or MDR anything that's not already an SMG crit chance trumps crit damage in my opinion so there's these I may pick some of these up myself because these are actually pretty damn good in my opinion well that's about all I could find guys I pretty much highlighted the best things that I could find in this video I didn't put as many things on the video this time around as I did last week because I think a lot of it is just useless stuff that most people don't need. I kind of underestimated how many people actually have decent items. I mean, yeah, there's times when you don't really have a good item, but me pointing out things that aren't so great is not really going to help you out. You want the good this. You want the good stuff. So, that's going to be it for this video. Uh before I go though, I am going to show you where all of the things were that I mentioned items on so you guys can find them. So, we had Dante's run, which is right here. 
We had Camp Clinton, which is over here. Now you have to have unlocked Camp Clinton. If you haven't yet, you better do it. That's how you get access to the resistance maps and stuff. It's a new <coughs> expansion. That's Camp Clinton where you find the blueprint and the special equipment vendor I mentioned. The cavern is over here. We have the base of operations here. The advanced weaponry vendor at the base of operations is in the security wing upstairs in the back right corner. The um, blueprint vendor is downstairs in the terminal as well as the special equipment vendor down there both in the terminal so you could just go to the terminal to get to them. The and then pretty much it's all checkpoints and all the ones that I mentioned are on the right side so <clears throat> you got East 53rd, East 46th, East 42nd, East 40th, and East 31st. That was where I found the things that I mentioned in the video so if you need help finding any of the items you can check there. Now I did not check any of the Dark Zone safe houses because last time I did that last week, I didn't find anything good. The Dark Zone safe houses don't really sell anything great like they used to. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate the support.